Good day, ladies and gentlemen, party there, and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator. Yeah, toot toot. <laughs> oh dear. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, Euro Truck. This was part of the schedule that I was uh, setting myself, and we are cranking it up. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, well, here we go. This is obviously just the launch pad thing. You can create your character from here. And this is my, I've actually logged into the um, World of Trucks website, that's why it's got that uh, icon there, because that's why I've got the uh, icon on there. But just so you can actually see what I did for the setup, there you go, I picked Santa Claus for the uh, for my for my icon, because there was none there that looked like me. I was going to pick uh, the squirrel, well, it used to be called the squirrel's nuts, but squirrel anyway, but I didn't. And uh, just so you actually can, well, if you want to have a look, these are all the different uh, buff heads you can actually pick. There they all are, buff head after buff head. And there's squirrel right there. But uh, no, I didn't pick him, and I wasn't going, so I picked Santa Claus. And there he is right there. And of course you can pick your own truck, whichever you prefer to pick. And of course the uh, Mercedes-Benz got added with the 1.18 patch, finally. Gave permission to be able to use their logo and their name. So of course I picked the Mercedes, why wouldn't I? Because hell, everyone else seems to want to uh, pick the Scania. Uh, and it's like, screw it, I'm going to be different and not do it. And of course the company logo, they've never changed. I mean, it's just them, so... We're going to leave in skid marks everywhere because I'll probably be crashing everywhere, but yay, there you go, whatever. And so yeah, whatever. Let's crank it up. Uh, and you can also see there, I actually have done one game because I do have a steering wheel. You'll probably hear that, it'll probably squeak and rattle because it's a $20 one, that's all it cost me, 20 bucks. Oh, pardon me, good bit. But um, yeah, it was, it was a piece of crap. It doesn't actually have any gear stick, so... The settings I have is just simple automatic, there's nothing flashy about it, so I'm not trying to be pro here. No webcams about how I use the pedals or anything like that, I'm not that good. I'm just doing this for more for the fun of it. And if you guys enjoy it, then we might crank out more episodes anyway. But uh, just, for crank just so you can actually see this, no need to say that we were cranking again because I've already said it. Uh, obviously I just got one delivery done, it was just pottering through London, because that was what I set as my home place. And it was more just to test to make sure everything seemed to be running properly. And it does seem to be. So now I can sign in. Well, it'll sign me in because I'm signed into the world of world of trucks. And of course also because it's 1.18, I do also have the expansion, the Scandinavia expansion as well. So yeah, if we can actually look up the world map. Oh yeah. There it is. There's no mods. I have no mods installed in this. Uh, not to say I don't want any. Um, just waiting for a, just waiting for them to be, you know, pretty much working with 1.18. I might chuck some on. And again, the other thing I might, I was thinking of doing too with this game because I mean, they're pretty damn intense. It's full on, uh, and there is so many different mods. Um, I might be doing some mod reviews as well if you guys would like to see some. Uh, I'm actually not that overly keen on doing like map mods i might throw some in but i kind of like to you know just like add trucks and trailers and things like that because i don't want to just sort of ruin the absolute sort of aesthetics of what the game actually originally has um because i did i did play pro mods and yeah it, it was fun but it caused more issues than it was worth so in the end i didn't bother i just like got rid of it didn't bother didn't worry about it uh, but yeah, that's it. I um, hope, the, hope the audio's okay. I do have um, a lot of the stuff turned down. I think I might just turn the... Uh, turn that just a smidge and all. Got that turned. So you've got the sound effects right up. The main volume sort of runs about half. I uh, don't really need too much music. And of course the radio, I'm not going to bother with it. I know some people might like it, but... You don't want to... And the reason why I've got it turned off is because I know you can listen to your own radio and whatnot, but... You know, hey, you guys know YouTube probably get done for copyright bloody infringements for uh, playing something I shouldn't I shouldn't be allowed to so and this thing's this music's okay because it's actually part of the game so it doesn't actually kind of count but if you want to play it safe you can just simply turn the music right off all right so we can go for a quick drive that's actually the, that's the Mercedes that I picked the uh, Actros the Mercedes Benz new Actros that's what it looks like but we're not going to that because we don't actually own one yet that was just picked as a favorite so let's have a look at the job market. Of course, we're just starting out. We've got z level zero. We've got 46 XP. We don't have our own trucks. So we can't do anything. So now we can just simply drive 
from wherever to wherever, and that's about it. Of course, we're in London. And what are we going to do for our first trip, ladies and gentlemen? Something nice and easy. What do we got there? What do you reckon? London to Amsterdam. Hmm, yeah. Or London to Amsterdam, London to Amsterdam, London to Calais. Or London to Amsterdam. Anything here look overly exciting? No. Because I see with ventilation show. Oh, so why is they showing the pictures? But I'm just actually, no, it just shows you the picture you, what truck you'll be driving. <laughs> nah. That's a bit stupid. Um, or I could do London to Southampton. It doesn't give you as much money. Of course, that does have the Mercedes. I think it's a Harem. Uh, whoops. Go back that way. I think we'll do the uh, do the tank. Sound good? And of course, it's a scan here. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Let's take that job anyway. Okay. Well, that wasted probably a good five minutes of just me waffling crap, but uh, or six minutes or so, whatever it was. And yeah, so this is the game. Hey, Buffhead, can I leave now? He just give me the finger. Oh, he's talking on the phone. He stuck his finger up at me. All right. Uh, okay, let's clean this up. Hope we've got enough fuel on this thing. Oh, the scumbags didn't rip us off too badly. I'll get my feet settled here. Damn pedals. Yep, too damn close now. Fuck. There we go. Okay, we're off, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, I'm actually, I don't have the um, head tracker unit thingy on. I'm well, not actually wearing the hat or anything anyway at the moment, but I don't have that. Uh, I'm actually using the mouse to uh, pan around so I can see what I'm doing. But I do have the steering wheel to be able to drive around so that should make life a little bit easier. Oops, stopped a bit too early there. Not sure I'm going to hit something straight away. Nope. Look at that. Well, that's a good start. At least we've got out the gate without hitting something, which is, I suppose, not too bad. You gonna keep going? Nope, you let me go through. Sweet! Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And gotta remember though with this, I am actually Oh that was <laughs> Sorry, I was just trying to get the uh, camera settled. So yeah, anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Yo truck! Finally, I'm starting this damn series. So I've had this game for, you know, a long time. Um you know, I've got, it might be a bit dodgy at first because I've actually got to try and get the uh, settings properly configured but I'm just doing this drive, see how it goes I might play around with it afterwards but uh, yeah, no it was, oh man, it's fun, I love it have I got hang, um, hang on, what the fuck you have new mail, yay I'm just hoping I don't have the speed limiter on this thing Because that'll be annoying if I do. <laughs> that'd be really annoying actually. I've actually just put the uh, cruise control on at the moment, so. So I think I have. Is that cruise control on? I'm not sure if I hit the right button. Yeah, it must be. Okay. <laughs> okay, well. Are we going to get a speed up here at all? Hey, finally, we can actually put our foot down. I was kind of thinking that maybe the, uh, I think the, the truck's not going that quick, not gaining much speed, but same time though, it could be just the uh, load might be a bit heavy for this truck. But no, nah, we're off. We're off. Yeah, the controls are seeming a little bit seem to be a little bit off actually I'm gonna have to oh shit I'm in the wrong line oh look there see it's a good start sorry people hey I'm an Aussie I shouldn't be driving in in the UK anyway give me a break I don't know the road I don't know the road rules here <laughs> it's gonna be fun when I eat Europe then isn't it it's like yikes Oh dear. Oh, well, it's all fun. Da -na 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 -na. 
The life of a truckie, huh? Hey? What? What? Come on, foot down, bung it. Come on, do it. You're gonna give way? You are. Thank you very much. Because one thing I've always kind of found with this damn game is the AI can sometimes be a bit jerky on you. Like, you think they're going to give way and they just go screwing past. But again, I haven't actually played it since 1.8 was released. And I've only very briefly played it with uh, since this patch has been released. But, uh, so yeah, I haven't really put too much more effort into it. And of course, I was actually, a level, did have a level 16. Um, This is freaking touchy. It's what, uh, yeah, anyway, as I keep, I keep saying what I was saying, yeah, I did actually have originally a, a level 16 character, but after doing my updated um, schedule, or schedule, depending on how you want to pronounce it, I'm sure people are going to tell me off saying it wrong. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the my computer died. I ended up with, well, I must have had some kind of malware or somewhere on my computer because my computer or the CPU was running at 100% all the time and I have no idea as to what was what the problem was um, yeah, anyway, in the end, it, well actually in the end my computer wouldn't even turn on so I mean that shows you how bad it was it just would not boot up just black screen, just wouldn't even, wouldn't, didn't blue screen but black screen so yeah, not sure it was a bit odd Man, this is this is actually one thing I don't like about these. When you're actually doing these um, ones until you can finally buy your own uh, buy your own truck, the controls always seem really really off. Like the, like the tr like the truck needs a serious wheel alignment or something. <laughs> uh, that's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty wacky. So it, it, it's actually jerking around a fair bit on me, and I'm I'm hardly even touching this uh, steering the uh, wheel for myself. I'm literally doing nothing to it, and he's just warping all over the place. Just, I'm doing a usual trick. Whenever I actually come to like a possible turn off, I always move into the middle lane. So that actually turns only to the left that lane. So of course I always move into the middle just to uh, make sure. Not necessarily a pro tip, but uh, for anyone that hasn't actually played, it's probably not a bad thing to. Uh, get in the habit of doing. Whoa, man. Whooping all over the shop. But yeah, because when, when I actually um, started the game, I did my first mission, which in other words was driving like to the next block. That's all it was. Um, it handled, because it was actually the, it's actually the, um, it's actually the uh, truck you pick. Uh, and it handled really perfectly, steered nicely and everything else, but of course when you start these missions off um, you're actually uh, dang, this thing's being weird as you're, because uh, you, you, you've been given the trucks to drive it, uh, they tend to be a little bit warpy and be all over the place so I don't know how many of these actual just trucks I might, I might do just a couple of them just to get, a, you know, get the series up and running because uh, they're not big missions anyway with these ones until you start making your own until you get enough money to buy your own truck or at least be able to get a loan which I should be able to now I think I think it's what that first email was so I'll get, get myself a loan get myself a truck and yeah then I'm going to talk about then I can actually drive to wherever I've got to go and pick up and it's much 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 cooler much much cooler don't stop entirely for me, thank you of course I'm turning to the uh, left so I'm going to hug the right side of the lane to make sure the trailer gets right around I think I can keep it inside the white line for once it would be a nice little uh, bonus if I did probably don't need to keep indicating but hey look at that holy fish and chips Oh, whoops. <laughs> Cruise control's not on anymore, Pi. Put your foot down on the accelerator. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, dear. 
move over in the left-hand lane. Actually, I'm not sure about anyone, anyone here who's actually, who's watching is from the UK. Do you actually have a rule where you've got to stick to the left-hand side? If you, you know, unless, of course, you stay, you know, if you're not overtaking, you stick to the left. Because I know that's here in Australia. If you're actually driving along and it's like a dual, dual lane or more, I'll say dual lane. Yeah, the road rules are you stick to the left um, unless, of course, you're overtaking. Then, of course, then you can go on the right-hand lane. But I'm just wondering whether that's actually applicable in the UK or not. Of course, if you're on, if you're driving on the other side of the road, yeah, you know, probably, uh, you know, it might be applicable to, um, you know, stick to the right-hand lane. You gonna let me out? Yeah. You... Good person. Unless, of course, you wanted a uh, cement. What? Actually, what the hell am I carrying? Whoa. All right, that's sixty. That caught me off guard. I just saw the uh, excavator or whatever it was there and I uh, thought, whoops. My bad. <laughs> and it, uh, actually, this is a bit of a challenge for me, actually, uh, doing this, playing this game while actually I'm um, recording. Because normally you can just sit here and you just think, quiet. Just driving along, probably listening to music, not doing anything else. <laughs> But actually, when you're actually doing a commentary, it's, uh, yeah, you've got to keep the waffle going. Yeah, this thing doesn't seem to handle as well. I'm really looking forward to getting that loan. And get my own truck. <laughs> so I can start, uh, doing my own deliveries. But, uh, oops, slow down. There we go. Looks like we're just about there, so we can actually jump on the jump on the ferry. I could I could actually look to make sure there's nothing coming, but pff, the hell with it, it's only AI anyway. <laughs> sure, it might cost me damage, but you know, oh well, that happens. Tell you one thing, this bloody uh, truck sounds a bit sick. Either either the truck's been stuck in first gear the whole time. <laughs> That'd be funny if it was. I know it's not. I mean eight at the moment. Don't you dare change on me lights. Too bad. I'm through. Alright. And we are jumping on the ferry. Boom! Uh, i got to remember which is the enter key now. That one, I think. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. That's where we're travelling to, because that's where we're going to Amsterdam. And dang, how much is going to cost? Embark. <laughs> dang, they weren't half loud. Holy mackerel! not mistaken, I'm actually on the other side of the road now. So. This time I do have to drive on the right hand side. Whoa. That's a bit off. Not sure what happened there. That was weird. Make sure I can actually look around to make sure nothing's coming. Whoa, check out that sunset, will you? Look at that. Beautiful. They've definitely improved the graphics of it, that's for sure. That is absolutely faux show. Okay. 
you usually have a lot of trouble coming out of there. You usually quite often get stuck. Or I used to anyway. Dang, look at the sunset in the mirror. Sorry. <laughs> I'm picking too much time looking at the mirror. I'm not actually concentrating on where the road's going. Uh, I'm just trying to remember the speed things too, because this thing's obviously miles an hour and we actually the signs are going to be showing kilometers an hour, so. Make sure I don't cock it up too badly. Tell you what, it's actually nice and quiet. Not too many cars around. I like it. Lights on. I'm trying to actually remember what some of the controls are. Nope. <laughs> That's the horn, apparently. Come on. You can do it. Here's a bus. Now, I know 60 is the equivalent of about 97. That's 50. So I think it's under 30. I think 50 kilometers an hour is around 30, I believe. I hope so anyway. <laughs> I, might get some, I might get some speeding fines through here. I hope not. Oh, that's right, it's 100 anyway. I know I, can, I know I can do at least 60, so that's not too bad. Alright. It's a good sign. Yeah, look, that, that sign indicates you're going into a tunnel as you hit the tunnel. Well, thanks for that. I always wonder what that big, I always wonder what that big uh, enclosed bloody driveway area was. It's called a tunnel. Oops. Sorry. My bad. I've got a dicky steering wheel. <laughs> I'd like to at least do the first mission without crashing. That would be really, 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 really nice. So far I've been pretty lucky, but uh, of course I probably just jinxed myself horribly by uh, saying that. <laughs> oh well. Truck doesn't sound so good. I'm sure I'm sure I've already said that before, but it doesn't. And this is a scanning it too, so I mean it's like, come on, I thought scannies were supposed to be good. This one obviously isn't. This one's a bit old, I think. Do this. Gonna make it in time. Uh, I can remember which button I've got to press here. Uh, yeah, that's it there. The reservoir tank, and I've got to deliver it sometime around Tuesday. I've got to, I've got to have it delivered by. Oh, the plane coming in. <laughs> Yeah, I've got to have it delivered by sometime after tw 5 o'clock on Tuesday morning, and I think we should be uh, not far from it. A bit of luck. Because we're only about 34 minutes away, so we should be good. If I could actually learn to stay in my own lane, it would be even better. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to do for this episode anyway, is I'm just going to get this uh, get this one delivered. Hopefully in one piece. Get the tank off the uh, truck. And we should be good.
There goes Arya. Hello, Arya, whoever the hell you are. Um, yeah, so that's all this one's going to be. So it's not going to be long. Well, it's still going to be a longish episode. It's still going to hit it. Uh, sorry, dude. I didn't see your bright orange car. Uh, we're still close. We're closing in on what? 25 and a half minutes or so, thereabouts. So, not doing too bad. Still taking a little bit of time. And I did muck around probably for the, like the first. Uh, let's say first 10 minutes probably. You know, being an idiot and just explaining crap that was just crap. As you do. But, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're just about, uh, we are just about in Amsterdam and we're going to be dropping this bad boy off. Which is pretty damn neat. I don't really want to get done for speeding. Not through here. Even though I'm about to get, uh, seriously overtaken by another truck by the looks of things. And these 50k's. I should actually have a little uh, post-it note next on the screen or something to give you the basic uh, <laughs> um, speed comparisons because I can't be bothered trying to have to work it out. But I'm pretty sure 30 is around 50 or thereabouts. I think. I'm probably wrong. Okay, doesn't matter. We are now in Amsterdam. Amsterdam discovered. Beautiful. Looks like we're chucking a lefty here, but not before we stop at the lights. Okay. Scania. I gotta say, I do like the uh, Scania display on the dash. Uh, it just to me it just looks a lot clearer than some of the other trucks. Some of them just look really cluttered and stupid. I've always found the... Of course I do have to admit I have always kind of liked the Scania in, the, uh, in this game. You know, nice clear fuel gauge, nice clear simple you know, distance and whatnot. So it'll be interesting to see how the... Um, actually, I, did, I also didn't quite mind the uh, Mercedes, I've got to admit. Even though I've only had like a, a five minute drive in it and I really wasn't paying much attention because I was trying to uh, just make sure the uh, steering wheel was working. But uh, yeah, so... Ladies and gentlemen, we are just about here and I don't think I crashed. Woohoo! Which is a big plus. Very big plus. No, I don't want to turn out. It's actually a roadway. I want to go down here. And I suppose the next big thing is how well can I actually reverse this thing? Oops. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Pedal. Whatever the damn thing's called. Because if I cock it up really, 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 really badly. I will, I have no problem with just hitting enter and just making it just uh, accept it for me. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. <laughs> uh, we'll see how we go. Be nice to get it pretty close the first time. I'm not going to do it first time. No. Oops. Got my pedals confused. So I know I'm not talking, I'm just uh, concentrating here. God dang it! You hopeless pie! I've 
I've got to admit, that was actually pretty bad. Come on. Is that going to accept it? Yeah, they accept it. That'll do. <laughs> oh, dear. And we are done. Woo! Excellent. Bones for parking the trailer. 45 XP. Oh, look at that. Level 2. Hot diggity dog. Yeah, look at that. Oh, hang on. Level 1. Sorry. I was looking there. Oh, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first job. Completed. And, of course, we got skill point. Um, oh, man. I never know which ones to put it in, do I? I know longer distance can give you some more, give you additional money, but also kind of like putting them into fuel consumption. Because uh, obviously the more eco driving you got, you know, you save a lot less, you know, you're actually saving fuel, so you actually try to drive a little bit further. Uh, let's see. I might just do that for now. I'll chuck a point in there and apply that. So anyway, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, purchase a truck. Oh, should I do that now? Nah, I won't do that now. I'll save for the next episode. Anyway, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. And yeah, so we did the first mission and we completed it successfully. No dings, no bings, and just a slight cock up on the reversing with the trailer. You know, hey, I do that. I'm terrible at reversing anyway. <laughs> so I was probably lucky I did it on what? Three goes? One, two, three. Well, I did about four actually. But anyway. anyway, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's Euro Truck Simulator done. This is episode one. Uh, if you'd like to see more episodes, don't forget to obviously leave heaps of love and lots of likes and leave plenty of comments. And that's it. And uh, if you can think of any topics you might like me to talk about while I'm driving along, again, leave, leave me in the comments and say what you'd like to. Uh, what you might like to hear. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Uh, don't forget to... Uh, I'll just settle leave with the likes and comments. Anyway, who cares? Ladies and gentlemen, till next time, keep cool, keep safe, and I'll catch you around. Goodbye.